This is for all you guys out there that carries a North American Arms mini revolver like I do. I was really wondering how deadly these things actually are with these short one inch barrels. Whatever you're seeing like on this box of CCI mini mag 22 Magnum, that's 1875 feet per second. These measurements aren't out of a one inch barrel. So you shouldn't expect to get those type of velocity. I'll show you today what type of velocities you really get. I have my chronograph out here today so I can show you real velocities. So let's see what we get. Did it give me an error? 915 feet per second. 928 feet per second. Error. I don't know why this thing is giving me an error message every time. It never gave me this in the past. And I've shot this thing through it in the past and it was just fine. I know the sun sometimes has things to do with it or maybe this bullet is so small that it gets aired often, I'm not sure. But as you can see, we're getting what, about 930 feet per second. What's rated on this box is 1875 feet per second. So you can see how much drop off we have from a, for a one inch barrel, which is very significant. So yeah, I mean, it's up to you to determine how deadly a 40 grain bullet is at 900 and 30 feet per second. I, I did a lot of digging to see how deadly they were. There was a pretty gruesome story or a pretty bad story about uh, a guy that I read. And I mean, I'm not saying it's a completely true story. I don't know, but it sounded true to me. The guy said he was riding with his friend, passenger side, and a kid cut in front of him in their car on a bicycle. And he said he would have never imagined that his friend would have pulled out his North American Orms 22 and shot the kid from the car on his bicycle and killed the kid right there in the street. 